If your make.com scenario sends Slack messages from your personal account, it's time for an upgrade. In this video, I'll show you how you can set up a proper Slack bot that sends automated messages so your scenarios look clean and professional. And if you're new to the channel, my name is Matt Paiva. I build AI solutions for businesses, especially on the sales and marketing side of things. And I actually built this for a client that has a creator business with a team of 40 people in Slack. So I decided to share it with you guys. So before we dive into the build, why don't we take a look at a quick demo first. So for our demonstration, let's take this scenario, for example, which is a scenario that creates AI generated newsletters. And I've covered that in the different video that you can go and watch as well in the channel. I'm going to leave it in the card above. But let's say that once we create the AI generated newsletter, we want to send a notification in Slack. So here we would look for a Slack module and we're going to look for the create a message module over here. Now, if you've never set up a Slack bot, your connection should say my Slack user connection and then the name of your user. And from here, you would just set up your module as you would selecting a public channel. And here I'm going to select all Piva solutions one. And then in the text portion, I will just say new newsletter created and I'll include the Google Doc link over here and I'll click on save. Now, once we run this automation, we can see over in Slack that that scenario will actually send a message as myself. So here we will see in that Slack channel that we are sending the message as ourselves. It works totally fine. We click on the newsletter and we can see that newsletter draft over here like we're supposed to. But I actually wanted to send a message over here without sending it from myself because this could cause confusion to my team. So once you finish this video, you'll be able to do that because in this video, we're going to create this make.com Slack bot connection. And you will see that if we run this module only and I actually just paste the web view link so we don't create the newsletter twice that once we send that message, we have a make.com Slack bot over here that is sending the message new newsletter created with the same link that we selected. Now, this approach creates a much cleaner, much more professional look to your automations, and it doesn't create any confusion if you are using a Slack channel with a lot of users that might not necessarily know that some processes are automated in the background. When they see the make.com Slack bot over here, they know that that message is automatically sent and is created most likely with AI. So that just creates that distinction in the mind of the user so they know exactly what's going on in the background. So with that being said, let's go over to building the make.com Slack bot. And by the way, if you want to get access to this automation that you're seeing on the screen, you can get it completely for free by clicking on the first link in the description below. I keep this automation and all of the other automations that I have built in previous videos available for free for anyone who wants to get it by just clicking on that link down below. So go ahead. All right, so to start us off with our build, I actually created a brand new Slack account over here because we are able to create this Slack bot even in a free account. And how are we actually going to create this? Well, we are going to create a custom app. As you guys are seeing at the bottom over here, we have the Slack bot that is native for Slack and we're going to click on add apps. Once we click on add apps, we will see these recommended apps that Slack uh, is suggesting for us, but we are going to create a custom app. So here we click on the top right hand corner on open Slack marketplace. And this will pop up a browser tab. And over here, you will click on build. Once your build tab opens up, click on your apps also on the top right hand corner. And then on this tab over here, we want to click on create a new app on the green button. And here we'll click on from scratch. Now here we're going to create an app name and select a workspace. I'm going to call our app make.com Slack bot and the workspace I'm going to select the workspace that I'm going to use for this solution and I'm going to click on create an app. Now once our app is created we can see that we can set up a bunch of different things over here um, but we can just ignore these for now because from here on out we are going to set this up in make.com we just need to create some basic functionalities in Slack over here first. But before we start giving our permissions over here on the OAuth and permissions tab, I will just quickly brand our app by adding a logo over here. There we go. So I selected the make.com logo really quickly over here and we can create a description, but this is just um, for the sake of organization. I won't do this in the video right now. Let's focus on actually what matters and what matters is the OAuth and permissions tab. Once we go over to the OAuth and permissions tab, we will see this over here saying that at least one redirect URL needs to be set below. And that's what we're going to do first. So under our redirect URL tab, we are going to add a new redirect URL and we're going to paste this exact 
thing over here, which is www.integromat.com dash OAuth dash CB. This is going to be standard for all of the apps that you're creating for Slack bots and are connecting to make.com, which is the scenario that we are building today. Click on add and save URLs. And once that URL is saved, we are going to go down to scopes. The scopes are essentially the permissions that we want to give our app. And we can see that there is a lot of different scopes that we can include. We can include calls read, calls write. I am going to look for the chat read and chat write. I'm going to select chat write over here, which allows us to send messages as make.com Slack bot. And I will add another one over here. And I'll add this channels read over here as well. But here, what you want to think about are the functionalities that you want your custom Slack bot to be able to do, to be able to read messages, to write messages. This one is the main one uh, for this purposes, to be honest, the chat write one. So just make sure that you have that one set up. And from here on out, we should be good to connect this with make.com. Actually, before we do that, let's click on install to Pivot Solutions, which is the name of my workspace. Here, we're going to launch our um, app and install it to my uh, workspace. This tab will pop up. It's just asking if you want to grant permission for this custom app to write messages in uh, our workspace or the channels in our workspace. And here we're going to click on allow and awesome. And we should be good to go for now. Let's go over to our make.com. And in make.com, we're going to create a new scenario and connect to Slack. So here I'll just get a create a message module in Slack. And as you guys can see, I already have a connection over here. Like I showed in the demo, this is the connection that I use to send messages from my personal account. But this honestly doesn't look that professional. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on add. And here we're going to select connection type Slack bot. Here I will change the name from my Slack to make.com Slack bot just for the sake of organization. And I will click on show advanced settings. And here we will see both the client ID and the client secret fields. And you can get that information by going back to your Slack bot app in the in the tab that you had set up. And we can get the client ID first from this portion over here, which is under basic information. Copy that and paste it into client ID. And now we're going to go and get the client secret. And once we copy that, we're going to paste that over here, click on save. And then this tab will pop up on your browser asking if you want to grant the permission to access your uh, custom app. And here we just click on allow and that will pretty much set up our Slack bot integration. Now, in order to test this out, we are going to select the channel from a list. And here we have a couple of different channels. I will click on this new channel and I'll write test over here. Once we click on test and click on save, we are going to open up our Slack channel and we can see that our make.com Slack bot is already under here. As you guys can see, the sending messages to this app has been turned off because we didn't give it this scope, but this will pretty much be our one of our functionalities of our tool. Here, I will just prompt it to send a message to the new channel portion over here. Now let's click on run once and go to Slack and we can see that our make.com Slack bot sent test. Now, as you guys can see, it didn't send it as myself. And this is a very easy way of making all of your automations that have an output in Slack look a ton of times more professional because a lot of the times when you have your personal account sending these messages, you will see that it can cause confusion amongst a team. Maybe people don't necessarily know that the message that they're receiving is an automated message. Maybe sometimes you're sending messages that need to be reviewed. And essentially this way you can just avoid the confusion that could happen if you are sending automated messages from your personal account. Now, as you guys saw in the demo, we can send these messages from our custom Slack bot that can contain anything that we want. And if you are already building scenarios in make.com, you know that you can select messages that can contain a lot more information. One use case that I have in mind that I'm going to build in the next coming weeks is to get this make.com Slack bot to send research reports on inbound leads to salespeople. So whenever you have an inbound lead come into your business, we have a whole process researching that lead in the background. And then you can send a little report to your salesperson with all the information that they need to know about that inbound lead before they hop on a call. And like I said in the beginning, this just looks a lot cleaner, a lot more professional than a personal message. That person receiving that understands that what's going on in the background is AI generated. So if you hallucinate, if your system hallucinates, 
it will be clear that it was uh, an automated message instead of you. You protect your reputation by doing this and you make something much more professional and much cleaner that looks good and easy to understand for your team and for your clients as well. Now, with all of that being said, if you want me to set up any AI systems for your business, please don't hesitate to reach out. There is a link down in the description below where you can book a free call with me and we can chat about AI, see if I can help you build any AI systems for your business. And if you wanna learn more about AI and automation, feel free to watch any one of these two videos that are popping up over here because I'm sure that YouTube is recommending you one of the best videos that I have so far on AI and automation. So go ahead and watch that and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.